Are, are we, we recording? recording? Box sets here. And I'm Caitlin Olivia. And together with all of you, we are in the process of making a radio show called Hit Record on Your Radio. We are writers, illustrators, photographers, filmmakers, musicians, and actors who have found a way to do art differently. You're listening to Hit Record on Your Radio. <laughs> We started this project after working on a couple other audio shows together. I was listening to a lot of podcasts at the time and I thought it'd be really fun for us to make like a holiday radio show together. So in December we made the Holiday Radio Spectacular, which a lot of people got involved with and it turned out really well. And to me the next step in our audio journey was Hit Record on Your Radio, which would be an eight episode podcast companion piece to Hit Record on TV with the same themes but incorporating a lot of the things that didn't make the TV show. We're still working on the show and we plan to upload each episode of Hit Record on Your Radio on the night before every episode of Hit Record on TV. But that's not all. We want to see what else could be done with the work we've been doing on the podcast, so we reached out to HQ to see what they thought and to catch them up on our progress so far. There were a few emails back and forth and some Skype calls, and they were supportive and just trying to find a way to help us take it a little bit further. And now we're excited to announce that Hit Record will be supporting Hit Record on your radio by assisting producing on a collection of songs that will be on the podcast. So that way they get the full-on Hit Record treatment. And now we'll hand it over to Dr. Gorey to tell you more. Awesome. Thanks, guys. So we are really excited to be producing a bunch of tracks to be featured on the Hit Record on your radio podcast. As you heard, each of these tracks will fit into our eight themes from Hit Record on TV season two. So musicians and vocalists, get ready. There's a bunch of collaborations coming your way. The goal is to produce some awesome music for the podcast, but you know, who knows where these tracks could end up? We've been known to put tracks on vinyl. We've been known to put songs on iTunes. There's a bunch of different possibilities of where these songs should travel. So the way we're gonna do this is similar to how we've done music productions before, kind of like for Move On The Sun, that vinyl record we put out a while ago. Each track will have its own collaboration, and each collaboration will have its own resident producer who will be working with the community via request videos, giving creative creative direction, and then compiling all of your contributions into the final track. So let's get on with it. Our first track up is already very popular with the community, and the box sets and Caitlin Oliva think it will be perfect for their podcast regarding the dark. The name of the song is Tear. Originally written and performed by Almost Sound, then backing vocals were contributed by Chanelli Welly. Now what we want to do is further develop the track with a bunch more instrumentation and a lot more vocals. And now to tell you more about it is this track's resident producer, Almost Sound. Almost Sound here, and I'm very excited to invite you to help make this song grow. I don't think it's a sad song. I feel like it's about embracing a good cry. I recently uploaded a more naked version of the original with an extra instrumental part halfway into the song. I think it's got a lot of room to breathe, especially in the beginning and the end, as well as expand with more instruments and vocals. I've got some ideas, but I think you probably have more than I do. Soft brass instrument parts to help the chord structure throughout, strings and legato to help make the rhythm more fluid and smoothed out, bass, acoustic or upright would deepen the dynamic some more. Percussion, I think any drums with lungs like timpani or anything that makes a deep tonal thud would work really well. Otherwise, things that are soft or sound effects like rain or running water, a samples of this would work fine. Yeah. Maybe some piano parts in the upper register sprinkled in here and there maybe. Background vocals, I was thinking more female vocals just because I like the sound of female vocals better than male vocals. I don't like my vocals in it that much, but I think they're okay. Please feel free to do whatever else you want on it. Stems are at your disposal in a zip file below. For further direction, check the description or just think of something sad. There's a quick turnaround on this, so please get all your parts in by Monday, June 8th, so it can be included in the podcast. Thank you very much and happy tears. For you, 